The others are fruit eaters and a key factor in the commercial fruit trade of Southeast Asia. Throughout the world's tropical markets, about 70% of the commercial fruits come from plants that in the wild rely on bats for pollination or seed dispersal. They include guavas, peaches, avocados, bananas, mangoes, and... The most important fruit of Southeast Asia, in commercial terms, is the durian, which adds $120 million a year to local economies. As it feeds on the flower's nectar, the bat is in fact ensuring that the plant will bear fruit this season. The loss of the bats poses serious problems for the future of this important fruit-growing industry. Although commercially grown bananas do not require pollination, wild stocks must be maintained in order to provide the fresh genetic strains needed to keep cultivated varieties healthy. But bats are worth far more alive than dead. Among their many valuable contributions, they produce excellent fertilizer. Though the collection of bat guano is no longer economically practical in industrialized countries, it continues to be a key resource in developing economies. It is an extremely rich fertilizer, and six million bats provide an income of almost $100,000 a year for the monastery. Just one spoonful may contain up to a thousand species of bacteria, many of which are of potentially great value in solving human problems. Some bacteria already under study show promise of helping us detoxify industrial waste, improve detergents, even help in the production of gasohol and antibiotics.